Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the extended USA forecast for today's uh, second video. So uh, we're looking at mean cell pressure, 500 millibar height, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next six weeks for North America. And it's going to get us into the new year, actually, of uh, 2023. So I should get something back for you in a moment, just to say that the first video released today was the 6am upload. Going to be live streaming our 10 to 14 there at 6 p.m. this evening, so that's going to be epic, 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 epic. And uh, we're going to have the uh, eighth installment of the Christmas countdown straight after the live stream as well. So, a lot to enjoy, a lot going on uh, today on the channel. Please like, share, subscribe on all of the videos and streams and whatnot. And thank you so very much, everybody. For doing that. Thank you so very much to ecmwf.int for supplying these uh, charts as well. And uh, with that said, we're going to do it. So I'm going to start off with the uh, week one mean cell pressure anomaly for North America, dating us from the 21st to 28th of November. The uh, coming week, week that we're in, uh, we're going to have high pressure across western parts of America from the Pacific to Rockies. The main trough of low pressure is in the north and extending through some of these Midwestern and Eastern states as well. The 500 millibar height anomaly, anomaly looks like this with above average heights again across much of Western uh, Europe. So plenty of high pressure in the west, trough of low pressure in the south and also in the northeast too. Week 1. Temperature, temperature anomalies look like this, very mild up across Canada and just into the far west coast and these extreme northern states. A little bit on the mild and average side through the Rockies as well, but cooler through there and across much of the southern states as well, looking relatively cool or cold and up into the east and into the northeast as well, looking a little bit on the two side of the eastern seaboard itself is relatively mild. Precipitation-wise, lots of dry weather through central and western parts of America, all the way from the Pacific coast right way to the Great Lakes, really uh, looks pretty dry. Just in these far eastern states, up the east coast and then down into Florida, uh, around the Gulf Coast, it looks uh, wetter through there. But most places, actually, in weekend in America are looking pretty dry. Right, week two will be the 28th of November to the 5th of December. That's how it looks. So low pressure begins to appear across these western parts of America. High pressure is in the north and also in the east, uh, eastern part of America as well. So could that be turning cooler perhaps in the west and milder in the east? Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly. It looks like this. So uh, we get a trough of low pressure out to the west and to the northwest, and we get high pressure bridging in to the south and also to the east. You'd think that high pressure is going to bring milder air into those midwestern and eastern parts of America. Temperature anomalies look like that, so it goes colder than average in the north and the northwest, so pushing colder air from Canada into those western and far northern parts of America. Meanwhile, the southern and eastern states are looking relatively mild. The extreme northeast does look a little bit cooler, but definitely warmest in the south and east and coolest in the north and west. And the precipitation anomaly for week two looks uh, pretty dry across the southern, eastern, southeastern parts of America and perhaps wetter with that trough of low pressure in the west and in the northwest. Week 3 will be the 5th to the 12th of December. High pressure generally covering much of the nation then. Plenty of uh, high pressure building through America during that particular week. 500 millibar height anomaly shows that area of high pressure very nicely. Temperature anomalies I would have thought are going to be quite mild. Um, well, not much of a seal actually. So it's cold in the extreme north and northwest perhaps mild in the southern southwestern states and then through like central and eastern parts of america not much of a signal to be honest through the midwest and into eastern parts of states and um, pretty dry as well really in most areas under that area of high pressure it's either average or dry the driest anomalies to average are in the southern and southeastern parts of america Week 4 will be the 12th to the 19th of December. Weakening signals, a little bit of high pressure 
in the north and maybe in this southeastern corner. Otherwise, not much to work with. The above average height still there in the south and in the southeast, but we have got this tropical low over Canada that looks like it's going to try and perhaps force its way southwards there as we start approaching Christmas. Temperature anomalies, again, very weak signals, colder than average in the far west and also the far north, milder than average in the far south and southeast, otherwise, again, very weak signals once more. And the uh, precipitation anomaly, that's a weakening signal as well. No, all going a little bit mysterious by the middle of uh, December. A bit wet up here and there and uh, a little bit on the drier side uh, around there. Right, week five will be the 19th of uh, December to the 26th. So, again, well, signals are weak here from a mean cell pressure anomaly perspective. Low pressure in these western southwestern states, otherwise not much signal. 500 millibar height, still keeping that ridge of above average heights going across these southern southwestern parts of America with below average heights in the west and in the northwest. Now, again, you think the jet stream can do something like that, bring the coldest weather into the north and northwest and the mildest weather into the uh, southern and eastern parts of the states, perhaps. Temperature anomaly shows that things are pretty mild here across these far southern southeastern states and colder in the west and the northwest. Otherwise, again, the signals are weak and the precipitation anomaly looks very wet across these western parts of America from the Pacific into the western coast. Um, meanwhile, further eastwards, the signals are very weak. And then finally, week six will be the 26th of December to the 2nd of January into 2023. That's how it looks. Again, really weak signals. So some lower pressure in the south, some higher pressure off the uh, Pacific coast in uh, the western part of America. Otherwise, not much to work with. 500 millibar heights looks like that so um trough of low pressure coming into the north out of canada that would bring colder air into the north could that colder air be starting to push eastwards i've got a ridge off the eastern coast of america as well off the eastern seaboard which will be quite mild but could this trough of low pressure be bringing winter into the north and the east there at the end of december the temperature anomaly shows that colder air is expanding in the northeast, east and southeast of states look relatively mild, but how long would that last? Because I think this cold air from Canada would be going in that direction, and so I suspect if we could go on another week, which we can't, but if we could, we would probably find those uh, cold temperature anomalies plunging into the, into the east, uh, uh, you know, uh, through through the first full week of January. And the precipitation anomaly looks like that, so becoming more unsettled, especially so in the north, and all that's going to be snow, of course, as the cold air plunges in out of Canada. So we end up poised there to be unleashing proper winter, uh, maybe, into January across much of America. But of course, that's six weeks away. It is a long way out. Very, very long way out. So uh, let's wait and see. Right, that is your extended USA forecast for this week. If you found the uh, forecast interesting, useful, and, in and informative, then please do like, share, subscribe, and uh, let us know in the comments what you think. Thank you so very much for doing that. We'll be livestreaming the 10 to 14 day for the UK and for uh, Northern Europe uh, at 6 p.m. this evening. So I shall see you live. Uh, for that, then straight after that, eighth installment of Chris Countdown. Have a bit of a laugh with CFS model uh, on that one. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And for this uh, extended Just A forecast, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.